ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल लर्नर्स माय सेल्फ शारदा देवरे एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी अमरावती महाराष्ट्र वेलकम्स यू टू लेक्चर 18 केस स्टडी 3 क्वालिटी कंट्रोल ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल फॉर्मुलेशंस अंडर वीक 4 क्वालिटी कंट्रोल स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड रेगुलेशंस ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल प्लांट ड्रग्स इन एंशियंट टेक्स्ट ऑफ आयुर्वेदा सिद्धा यूनानी एंड होम्योपैथी मेडिसिन सिस्टम्स दी वेरियस एनालिटिकल पैरामीटर्स इवेल्युएशन क्वालिटी कंट्रोल पैरामीटर्स आर मेंशन फॉर डिफरेंट डोसेज फॉर्म्स बट विद द एडवांसमेंट ऑफ द नॉलेज एंड द टेक्नोलॉजी इट बिकम्स नेसेसरी टू डेवलप द मोर एडवांस इवेल्युएशन पैरामीटर्स विद द मॉडर्न सिस्टम्स एंड दैट कैन बी मोर ऑथेंटिकेट एंड कैन बी इजीली एडाप्टेड फॉर द बैच टू बैच क्वालिटी कंट्रोल एंड दस टू इम्प्रूव द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट ऑफ दिस ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन फॉर द हेल्थ केयर ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग्स so this is just the one example of the standardization of bhasma uh, uh, and having the comparison of the ancient uh, methods as well as the advanced uh, modern methods of the analysis in ancient methods of analysis of bhasma physical as well as chemical evaluation parameters are mentioned like that in uh, physical parameters varna means related to the uh, color then nishavadhutam means it is related to the metallic properties then nishachandra vatam means again it is related to the metallic luster then varitara that how fine the powder is or based on the serpent surface tension it should float on the water then unama test is again the extension of the varitara test where the uh, Uh, that layer of the uh, bhasma the rice grains are put and that grain should not get uh, uh, dipped or it should not get sediment to the uh, bottom side and then there are the other uh, parameters are also of to measure either the particle size or fineness or to the metallic properties or taste Uh, that are there in case of the chemical uh, characteristics like the apurna bhavata uh, which is to mix it with the certain chemicals uh, like the honey or abrus precatarius uh, and then heat it and after that whether any type of metallic uh, particles are present or whether the uh, the metal uh, from which the bhasma is prepared that is regaining its uh, original uh, metallic uh, uh, texture or not then nirutta is also same these properties are explaining that how much type of the uh, metallic luster or the metal is converted to the basma or metal properties are converted to the therapeutic properties that is expected in case of the amla pariksha it should be treated with the alkali like the curd or the uh, citrus uh, fruit juices and then uh, its uh, taste or its properties its color change this type of evaluations are done these all uh, bhasmikaran sanskarans or procedure steps are followed to make the uh, biologically incompatible metal gem or mineral to the biologically compatible therapeutically more active and less toxic or not toxic to the human being for the treatment of acute as well as the chronic diseases so these tests are actually equally uh, justifiable these are uh, equally important and they are Uh, having the uh, consideration of the safety and efficacy also but still uh, the methods like the uh, as that is atomic absorption or x ray dry fractions or scanning electron microscopy transmission electron microscopy infrared spectroscopy thermogrammetric analysis can helpful to evaluate uh, these uh, Uh, a traditional medicine formulations uh, in more better way and with a less uh, time and with the proper documentations there are the some physico chemical methods like the ash value uh, which is very important so that the inorganic exact inorganic content can be determined and this same ash can be further utilized by the atomic absorption spectroscopy to determine the content of the various metals or its derived uh, forms then other uh, evaluation parameters like the microbial load or aflatoxins or any other parameters because most of the time these preparations are having the addition of the plant preparations also along with the metal minerals gems 
so this also need to be considered so there is always pros and cons of any method but uh, still this ancient methods as well as the uh, advanced methods together uh, can give the better uh, safe uh, safe and uh, quality uh, product for the desired therapeutic efficacy these are the certain evaluation parameters that are mentioned for the different ayurvedic uh, formulations either solid semi solid or uh, liquid doses form like that dph determinations for the uh, solid semi solid or uh, liquid doses form then refractive indices for the uh, liquid and semi solid doses form specific gravity for the same then fineness of the particle for the uh, ancient nano particles like the bhasma or sindura or pishti then disintegration test for the gutika vati loha and mandura disintegration test means how easily it is breaking into the uh, small particles and then it will be how it will get absorbed how fast it will be get released into the body so this is also the important modern test then weight uniformity because weight if weight is uniform this indicates that the uniform dose is also getting administered so from that point of view weight uniformity test is simple and more valuable also ash value i have told you that ash value gives the idea about the how much inorganic content is present in this various ancient traditional doses forms and the uh, same ash can be further evaluated for the various metals especially toxic metals like the lead cadmium or arsenic and from that limits can be decided and uh, quality control of these uh, doses forms can be done then various extractive values gives idea about the desired chemical constituents for the expected therapeutic efficacy loss on drying for the uh, from the point of view of um, uh, water content determination which must be for the solid doses forms like the gutika vati bhasmas churnas then determination of alcohol content which is important from the point of asva aristas because uh, alcohol should not be more than that of 12% as per the dnc act and uh, 12% up to 12% it is considered as a medicated wine and having the therapeutic efficacy if it is uh, taken for in a prescribed dose for the prescribed duration then water content is also plays the important role to avoid the further uh, microbial growth in a storage or transport foreign organic matter determination fat content volatile oil content and other evaluation parameters like the acid value saponification value iodine value for the semi solid or lipid containing doses form like the avaleha taila grita then inorganic matters determination through the ash value determination like bhasma sindura or pishti is important so that uh, uh, its uh, effect uh, or its uh, uh, toxic effects can be determined microbial load determinations is important for all type of the traditional doses forms here i have mentioned just the ayurvedic formulations but same can be applicable uh, to the siddha as well as the unani formulations most of the time this uh, uh, all these three systems uh, doses form preparation um overlaps to each other they are having the similarities in the steps and procedures just names are changed according to the language that is utilized or material text are that are available so in this lecture we have discussed the quality control of traditional formulation with the case study of the very popular uh, ayurvedic uh, doses form that is a bhasma which is also considered as a ancient nanotechnology based formulation and this bhasmas one of the analytical parameter is that to rub this uh, bhasma uh, between the fingers and if the particles are getting inserted into the lines of the fingers then its fineness can be considered but nowadays the particle size analyzers along with the zeta potential uh, type of instruments are available so if bhasmas are analyzed by these instrument then exact particle size nano size can be determined and which can be more helpful so along with the various traditional evaluation parameters the modern technologies can be adapted and this further can help in the uh, development of the more uh, efficacious uh, ayurvedic unani or siddha Uh, homeopathy formulations for the better healthcare not only in india but throughout the world thank you